All right, right now in the Q105 on Rock Studio, we are joined by Hinder. Yeah. Yo, What's what up? up? Hello. What is up, fellas? It's been a couple of years. Last time we had you in town, you actually played at the fair. Do you remember that show? Jared Weeks was uh, singing with you guys. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 2013. Yeah. And the recollection of being in Fargo that night, any stories? Was it just another night on the road? <laughs> I remember getting really, really drunk. <laughs> Well, yeah. And Which is not remembering another anything after that. Yeah. When in Fargo. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. This is like the drinking capital of the world, and it's not even in like a really exciting way. You know, it's not like Vegas or anything. It's the binge drinking capital of the world. So uh, a lot of deadly drinking going on here. That's just Ooh, how we cope. We'll fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you guys been up to? How's the tour been going? Where were you last night? What can everybody expect tonight? What's going on? Uh, we were right outside of Minneapolis last night, and uh, yeah, the tour's going great. So we just got a uh, couple of new bands on the bill just like four shows ago. So, But uh, yeah, we're having a blast, man. Crowds have been awesome. It's fun. How are they digging the new stuff? Uh, it's been great. I've been pleasantly surprised, actually. Yeah, man. <laughs> We've been singing along, and I don't know, you release something new, you never know what to expect, but uh, people seem to be digging it. Yeah, when the smoke clears. Been out since May. Is that when it yeah, dropped? Yeah, yeah. So are you guys already thinking about the next album? Is it always in the back of your mind? You work on stuff on the road or just kind of rolling with this for a while? Yeah, no, we actually, we've uh, finished an acoustic EP that we're planning on releasing in May. Oh, uh, nice. And then, yeah, we're, uh, we've are we already started recording the next one. So I don't we don't really have any plans for when that's going to be released yet. But uh, we, we have a pretty good jump start on it. Is that kind of how it goes now, you know, with the the times being in a band, like you have to put out more stuff just to stay out in front of your fans and stuff like that? Well, we're lucky because we have our own studio. Um, oh, sure. So, and, and you know, having everybody in one place for the most part, it makes it really easy. So, uh, you know, after after we got in our bus accident, we were just kind of sitting waiting on, on Mike to heal because he ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> so while we were... Way to go, Mike! <laughs> So while we were waiting, we just kind of jumped in and, and started on the next one. Yeah, it was everything good after the bus accident? Because you guys were in a couple, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, you had a bad spell of luck going on there for a while. Yeah, we've had two in two years. Well, we, we got one on that tour uh, that Jared was with us. Oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't really a, a crash or anything, but it was a, you know, it threw some people through the air and busted some heads open. But this one was pretty gnarly. Eesh. exploded it was pretty crazy man so at this point do you guys ever think like maybe instead of a bus we should just travel in a couple of minivans and just you know kind of go for it <laughs> or would, it, would it be safer would or it be safer saying, i don't really think that's any safer <laughs> yeah, but... it sounds like it's more fun though. yeah <laughs> does it though i mean i don't know it's a party semi you know you got a big trailer in the back <laughs> yeah everybody's just on rollerblades in the back of the trailer <laughs> but like that when you have something like super traumatic like that happened does that like lead to the inspiration say for the new acoustic ep is there like any of that in there uh no i wouldn't say that <laughs> just gonna move on <laughs> It, it leads to uh, a lot of sleepless nights when you're driving driving down the road, though. I bet. Oh, I'm that, sure. It's, uh, it definitely changes your mindset. Yeah, yeah. I had to sleep at uh, 7 a.m. this morning because I was holding on to the walls of the bunk because every time we hit a bump, I freak out. Oh, like, man. Die. That sucks. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's actually why you guys are playing here in Fargo tonight is because uh, your last show, I think, was supposed to be in December and got postponed. So. Yep. We're glad that you actually rescheduled. That was awesome, you guys. Everyone's digging it. And this is going to be a pretty interesting show because you guys are playing at the historic Fargo Theater in downtown. Like, if you look up Fargo on the internet, this is probably the only thing that will actually show up. It's the only real landmark yeah. that this town has. I mean, there's not, like, mountains or anything. There's not even trees here. So yeah. if you're looking for that, we don't have there's them. There's just nothing so. but flatlands. So do you guys <laughs> ever play any, like, cool venues like that? Like, this is an old, old-ass theater. Uh, not, not recently. I mean... We play a lot of them though, like uh, you know, thirty five hundred seater theaters with you know with the balcony and like all the you know the Art Deco stuff on the on the ceilings and, mm-hmm. and all over the walls and stuff and the haunted stories and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. cool. We we've gone on a couple of ghost tours in a couple of them. Oh, nice! So every once in a while you get a cool one like that. So this this should be cool. And when when I run into Hinder, one thing that always pops into my mind is the party, right? I mean, we asked Marshall when we talked to him on the phone a couple weeks ago if he was still throwing down, having a good time. And he said, you know, if you guys got a day off, he likes to go for it a little bit. But you guys still like to get after it? I was going to say, some of us drink a lot more than Marshall does. (laughs) He's a little more responsible than the rest of us. Probably for the vocals, right? Uh, Well, I mean, we're really down to to just three that like to throw down. Mike over here is... Again, I ruin everything. (laughs) I stopped drinking. 
don't know. Hey, that's this, okay. This tour might drive me back to it, but <laughs> I'm holding strong right now. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like if I were in a band, which I'm obviously not, I would. No, you're not with the Gene. No, or, dude, I'm not. I'm just play, I'm playing the part today. Playing the part. But if I were in a band, I'd probably party every day too. I'd totally want to. It's life on Wouldn't the you? road, right? I would what totally want to party. Do? Exactly. Well, yeah, what do you guys do on the road to you're pass the time? Sitting on a tour bus, you know, three feet away from each other, just kind of like staring yeah. at each other. You got to yeah. do something. Yeah, exactly. You know? I mean, realistically. How do you not hate each other after all these oh, years of being, traveling so close? Because we sit right across from each other every day, and there are days when I, I hate I him, him right dead. now, probably. Some days I, I, I want him dead. That, that's easy. We do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the drinking. Yeah, the, oh, the yeah. drinking. You're just faking your friendships. It's fine. You know, I get it. I, I now totally dig what Hinder's all about. As, as long as there's a record deal, we'll always be friends. It's just me. That's a good way to put it. Well, we're stoked to have you guys back in town. You always throw down with whether it's in Fargo, wherever. I saw you guys at Sturgis this past summer. That was a hell of a fun night, and uh, we're looking forward to it. We got Sons of Texas within reason, ages apart. Hinder Fargo Theater tonight. Dudes, thanks for popping in. We're looking forward to thanks it. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you.